Huntron Workstation has always been a great software package for creating test procedures, storing power off VI signatures, and displaying test results for Huntron trackers. Now with the release of the Huntron Workstation DMM module, that flexibility is now available for your DMM. Using Huntron Workstation, you can create a specific test procedure, take measurements with your DMM from a known good assembly, store those measurements to a database, and compare to them when measuring a suspect assembly. This makes it possible to create and follow a set test procedure allowing for consistent and repeatable troubleshooting. The workstation software allows for tests to be created based on components or PCB nets. In this example, the test building process consists of adding a series of one-pin test points as components to the workstation tree. For each test point, we input a name, set for probe package, and specify a single pin. Once the test points are added, we switch to the range tab where the range settings can be modified for the type of measurement required. In this case, we will be measuring DC voltage. You can set a nominal value and tolerances to use for when the test is executed. If the measured value matches the nominal value within the specified tolerances, then the test will pass. As an alternative, you can use a reference measurement that is taken from a functional assembly and stored in the test database. When the test is run, measurements will be compared to the reference measurement and indicate a pass or fail. In this example, a nominal value will be used. Video demonstrations of test creation in Huntron Workstation are available on the Huntron Technical Support YouTube channel. Once the test is created, it can be executed by selecting the Scan tab in the Signature pane, adding a serial number, and clicking Start. Interfacing to the test points can be accomplished in two ways. Handheld probes can be used, and as the test progresses, the software will prompt you to test each point. The results of the test will be displayed after all of the test points have been measured. It is also possible to select and test individual points when needed. The other method of interfacing to the test points is using a Huntron Access Prober. Once the database of test points is created, the PCB to test is mounted in the Access Prober and the location of each test point is stored in the software using the Access Prober camera. Once the locations are taught, the test can be executed and the prober will place the test probe on each point to obtain the desired measurement. Of course, provisions for getting the PCB into a powered state will need to be made prior to testing. As the testing takes place, the DMM reading is displayed on the screen. When the testing is complete, you can view the test results by clicking on the Troubleshoot button. The failed components will be listed along with the measured values with the largest differences displayed at the top. The measurements can be reviewed and even resampled if bad probe contact is suspected. The new measurement will be displayed and can be used to replace the previous reading. The DMM module for Huntron Workstation makes it easy to develop a DMM-based test procedure that can be followed by an engineer or technician for repeatable and reliable results. Check the Huntron Workstation webpage for a current list of DMMs supported by the DMM module for Huntron Workstation. Thank you for watching.